Hi, John here, and um, I'm responding to a core question. This is from um, someone who says, I'm at an early point in my life where I have a hard decision to make. Here's my situation. I'm a Singaporean male, passionate about entrepreneurship and startup scene. Since high school, I've poured over readings and articles, familiar with buzzwords. Um, let's see here. He says, Tor, I think he means terrible time making a decision where I should go attend college. I have the option of doing a local degree in Singapore or fly to the States and study at a mid tiered private university located in Boston. And he kind of weighs the pros and cons, which is great. Um, you know, sounds like um, you're really thinking these through. So, um, some really good responses. Um, I like, um, let's see, Kinu Suke. Sorry if I'm butchering your name um, talks about uh, you know best scenario being that uh, you go and then transfer to a top tier US institution great idea uh, if you're interested in entrepreneurship these communities are exceptional I agree like Stanford MIT Harvard each of them has very very entrepreneurial folks um, Vitor talks about that um, chose to stay because um, university and location sucked uh, and then you know having um, talking about having parents that will support you um, isn't so bad and stuff um, and the, but I like how he talks about trusting your instinct so and then Shane talks about what's your long-term goal do you think do you see yourself in Singapore long-term or uh, moving to the States um, so that's also key consideration you know is like what do you see bigger picture and stuff so um, I don't have a name to kind of call you so I'm just gonna say um, let's call you what's a good Singaporean name maybe uh, Lee is Lee work uh, anyways so I'd say you know one of the biggest things for me is out of the, all the different uh, things is that you've you need to start developing the entrepreneur's mindset and what that is is solving problems it's looking for um, basically looking for problems to solve you know and and uh, you know if anything you know you don't need to at a certain point because the world's full of problems to solve and um, it's but here's the thing it's like your own question is your first problem to solve which I applaud you for taking the action to kind of um, to seek advice and stuff which is also another great trait of an entrepreneur so with all that said um, and this is being your first problem stuff now what you know like what's what's the thing well okay having using the entrepreneur's mindset to solve your problem you know weighing the pros and cons as you say or you know let's face it you know what that really comes down to is risk versus reward right which is what being an entrepreneur is all about so it looks like you have a pretty good grasp on both the risks and the rewards. Um, then it's a matter of then you know going with your gut because here's the thing that ultimately you're going to do that that is the other part of the, being an entrepreneur mindset is that no matter what everyone says, ultimately you have the best idea of what it is that meets your needs and stuff, and um, and and what is that? Well you know having the pros and cons in front of you and then having some of these different ideas and stuff like that um, you know it's gonna really be a matter of coming down to then just you know going with it and then seeing what happens you know and then that's the other part that's you know part of what being an entrepreneur is all about is pulling the trigger and um, the sooner you start doing that with something as seemingly as big as this the, the better um, there is no you know right or wrong there is you know like maybe something will work out maybe something won't work out the way you thought and stuff but that's the nature of a startup that's the nature of the entrepreneur's mindset and and the entrepreneur's journey so um i'd say that's the number one thing is that um you know you you can definitely think it through for forever and ever and stuff like that um, as the clock keeps ticking towards your graduation date, stuff like that, um, you're going to just have to make a decision and go with it. And go with it, not with the mindset that like, oh, you know, like, 
you know, I made a mistake or, or, or was that a mistake? Even like no matter what happens and stuff, there's, there are no mistakes. There's only success and learning. So um, that's probably the only thing I can really add to what all the different things that you've considered and other folks have added. So I just thought I'd, um, you know, shoot this short video to um, talk about that. Best of luck to you, and uh, I look forward to hearing about your success.